If you thought death and funerals couldn't be funny, Broadway's new hit comedy, Chicken and Biscuits, will make you die laughing. Let's welcome, <laughs> not really, let's welcome Charleston stage director Chris <coughs> Gilmore and Henry Clay Middleton, who will be playing Reginald Mabry in Chicken and Biscuits. Great to have you back. Welcome back. Thank you. Wonderful to have you here. Good to be here. Uh, this, this premise sounds very intriguing, and, and it's funny. Mm -hmm. so, so please explain to our audience, Kristen, how death and funerals can be a laugh riot. <laughs> oh my goodness, you described it so well yourself in that intro. This play is about, I'll call it a dramedy. Okay. So it is a drama comedy because sometimes funerals bring out the best and the worst in us. Indeed it does. Suddenly secrets start to come out. That's what happens when the patriarch of the family passes away. His name is Bernard, and he has left his family some things that not everybody knows. Uh, oh, is this not a will? This is uh, some other secret skeletons yeah. in the closet, maybe? Possibly situations that suddenly pop out of the closet or family members that no one knew about, just uh, saying as possibilities. It doesn't sound too unlike actual life. That yeah. is absolutely it. It yeah. sounds very similar to actual life. It certainly it's does. A little heightened, I'd say, but not much. It all rings in truth, and the basis is family yeah, and yeah. acceptance. Indeed, indeed. And love. Mm -hmm. Tell us about your character. So, well, so, yeah. so Mr. Mabry here, yes. what, what is this character all about? Well, I am married to the late pastor's daughter. And I am taking over as pastor of the church. So my job in this whole issue-laden funeral is to get everybody through it mm -hmm. in one piece. Mm -hmm. And I'm trying to be a peacemaker, trying to bring people together. But as Christian has said, a lot of things happen to come up that nobody's expecting. Uh -huh. And so it began to be a, a bit of a challenge to keep things going. I'm sure. Hence the comedy. Have you pulled from, from real life experiences to channel this character? Well, um, I'm well churched, as yes. you say. <laughs> so I, I've seen many pastors. I like that. Um, mm -hmm. So I don't, um, I'm not pulling from a particular pastor. It's just, uh, just a combination of what I've seen yes, is yes. what I'm building my character from. Right, and, and you're certainly building quite the following of fans here in Charleston. You were disgracing the stage over at Dock Street Theater as Scrooge. So this is a very different character that Absolutely. you're playing. Absolutely, in this completely musical, different right? guy, yeah. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. And, and maybe uh, take us back to the history of this musical. It's new. It is. So, so tell us a little bit about just how it got launched and, and where it came from. Absolutely. So the playwright, his name is Douglas Lyons. He is a Broadway star who, with downtime, while he was doing, um, I believe it was the Book of Mormon or Beautiful, ah. decided to write this play. It came out in 2021 on Broadway. It had a short run. It was meant to have a four month run, oh. but it was cut short because of COVID. Mm. And so it didn't get the acclaim that it needed or that it truly deserves. Sure. But thanks to him releasing it and us getting the opportunity to put it on, Mary Beth Clark, who's the new artistic director said, hey, let's bring in a show that brings laughter, but also also shows the beauty of the black family in all of its colors. Yes, And yes. it's one that everybody can relate to because we all have family. We've all been to a funeral yeah. and unfortunately we all can be familiar with death in all of its funny, truthful humor. Indeed, and, and not so funny too. And Stressful so funny. and all the other things, Very right? Very true. Um, and, and you as a director, so you were just absolutely fabulous in Black Pearl Sings. Thank you. And I was so, so happy to be able to be in the audience for that show. But of course, being a, a director, having that on stage experience makes you even more dynamic as a director. How, how is it different? That's very kind of you to say. Um, I hope it does. Uh, I would have to ask Clay and everyone <laughs> else asking I've him, yeah. worked with, but I'd like to say it makes me more flexible to the actor's mm. point of view. Um, it makes me have a more rounded perspective of the art and really get to see that it's so many people that you don't know behind oh, the yeah. scenes that make this thing happen. Yes. It is on no one man's shoulders. Yes, indeed. So so how, how would you grade Miss Kristen as a director? Well, she has a unique ability to be very clear about what she wants. Mm -hmm. She has a vision for what this show is supposed to be. And she understands, you know, she calls it a dramedy and people say it's a comedy, but it's a mashup of that. Mm -hmm. um, she is crafting this story to be what uh, 
the British actor, the late British actor Peter Houstonoff said years ago, and it stuck with me. He said, comedy is simply a funny way of being serious. Uh, and that is what we're doing here. Yeah. Um, not everything that, that's funny makes you laugh. Mm -hmm. Not everything that's, that makes you laugh is funny. That's true. Mm -hmm. So that's what we're trying to do. Everything is grounded in truth. Mm -hmm. And we laugh at things. That's what makes comedy comedy. Yes. Because there's an element of truth in it. Absolutely. And she's so good at bringing that out. She oh. certainly is. She certainly is. And uh, folks, you just, you have to go and see it. Mm -hmm. It really, it, it all the notes that I've read, it just, it sounds so entertaining and really just a wonderful ride to be on. Chicken and Biscuits, January 24th through February 11th, and it is at the Dock Street Theater. So make sure you go out, get your tickets, have some fun, and, and relate. I think yes. we can all relate. Yeah. It sounds wonderful. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank Appreciate you for having you. us. Thank you. Thank you. We're back in two minutes.